All right, so este podcast va a ser para todos los músicos, because I always get questions about, like, hey, can you live from making music and stuff, or should I study and, and shit like that? And I, I've been there, because antes, like, my parents didn't want me to be músico, and, like, it was my dream, right? I Like, I wanted to make it big and become famous and, like, be able to live off of music. And, like, over the time, my dreams kind of changed. But I still love music and that's why I keep on doing this and keep on making these videos for you guys and stuff like that. So, like, these are some of the things I've learned along the way. And hopefully this podcast helps you guys out. I mean, like, if you want to make it or, like, if you guys are interested in music, I mean, because, like, it's a fun thing to go into. The first thing, can you live from music? That's one of the biggest questions I always get. And the answer is, it depends. Because if you live here in California, it is possible. Because right now, you could say I'm basically living from what I make from music. Because I make like around $2,000 to $3,000 depending on the month. But if you look at that, that's kind of low income. And if that's your only source of income, then yeah, it's not going to be good in the long run. So I recommend, like if you're really into music and like there's nothing stopping you, do you could do music and you get a job and like make extra income and like even if you get a minimum wage job and you work full time that's like what two three thousand a month plus another two three thousand you could be making like five to six thousand dollars a month and that's pretty good you can live off of that so there's nothing stopping you from doing both some people ask can i study and become musico and the answer yeah you could study and become musico too if you get a better paying job and you and you actually get a job and get a salary you could be making more than five six thousand dollars a month doing both like what's stopping you so the answer is yes but would i recommend living for music alone no not really unless you can make it big and like bring in more money but it's pretty hard making it big i'm not saying it's impossible but it's hard it's hard man Otra cosa, dude, like everyone wants to travel and like be able to play in big stages and stuff. And that's cool too. Like if you get the chance to do it, especially if you're young, I recommend it. Because I got to experience a whole bunch of stuff and see a whole bunch of stuff that I wouldn't be able to see if it weren't for music. But it's not like I wouldn't recommend it for the long run because también it's draining, dude. And I've worked with other people who work with big artists, también like... I was playing with some guy que esta rolero de Chuy Lizaraga. I was playing with some some músicos from La Adictiva. I was playing with some músicos from, from Los Cuisillos. And they got to work over here because during coronavirus, everyone, they weren't doing shows because they couldn't. So they had to look for more ways to make money. And I guess the owners of those grupos gave them a chance to come over here and they were helping us out like they, they were used to playing these big stages and stuff and they came over and helped us out so i got to talk to them and they were like well honestly we make more here than we do over there because like it's not a good paying job even if you get to play with big artists like when i was playing with bucanas de culiacan at most they would pay me 300 per tocada and that sounds like a lot but you have to take into account that you have to travel sometimes across the state or to a different country like Mexico. And we would only play like, what, two, three shows, maybe four. So at most I was bringing back like a thousand, a thousand two hundred at most. Because there was times when we would only have like one or two tocadas. And that would only be like 600 bucks or 900 for a whole week when I could basically make the same playing music just playing here locally. Yeah, I would have to play more hours, but like honestly, that's why I kind of stopped touring because it's not as big as other people make it seem. Like, yeah, it's fun. And like I said, if you have the opportunity to, to be able to do it, then do it because I got I to gotta travel and experience all that stuff and hang out with my friends and stuff, and it was cool. But... Like, honestly, I'd rather stay here, <laughs> stay home, and uh, keep on playing and playing locally and stuff. Because it's easier, honestly. It's easier on your mental health. It's easier on physically. Because, I mean, you have to take into account that sometimes we drove 
like I'm in California and I had to drive. I mean, not me personally, but we drove all the way to the other side of the United States. And that took like two full days in a car. And that's tiring, dude. It's tiring physically and mentally. So yeah, man, this was just like a short little video podcast for musicals basically giving my advice or what i've been through and if you have any more questions just leave them down below and i'll be happy to help you out or send me a dm también i'm always here to help and i'm gonna end this video right here if it helped you out please like it and share it and i'll see you in the next podcast later